So I just got back from San Francisco, which you may have seen from my last couple of videos. And when one travels, one shops. So here are a few things that I purchased throughout the week. So first I'm going to start with the beauty bits because there's not really that much. I don't know, I just wasn't in like a beauty mode shopping, even though I knew it was cheaper. So the few, here are the few things that I picked up beauty wise. Uh, first I picked up the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil. This just is pretty much do-all hair oil and it works really well. Um, also acts as a heat protectant. It makes my hair so soft and like tames the frizz like crazy so I had to buy it and it's considerably cheaper in the States than it is in Canada. So got that. I also bought the OCC Lip Tar in matte lip tar in Black Dahlia and I'm wearing it right now and I freaky friggin love it. So good purchase there. I also bought the Tarte Best in Faux Fiber Lash Extension Fiber thing. You know what I mean, that whole thing where they're like little weird fibers like fuzzy bits on the wand. Um, bought that, have been using it, definitely hasn't made a difference because I had no lashes before and now they're somewhat visible. So that was only 16 bucks too, so I couldn't say no. It also came with a little tiny lights camera lashes and you know, I like tiny things, they're perfect. I also bought this Demeter's green tea fragrance perfume thing. I don't know, it just... It smells great and fresh and summery and I'm all about being great, fresh and summery. So got that as well. I also purchased another fragrance. I purchased a rollerball of the Fresh Life fragrance. Uh, I really like the full size one but I didn't want to be carrying more large items. And this I like because I can just throw it in my purse and I can use it throughout the day. So I also bought the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in the shade Espresso, which is not my shade, it looks like this, but I use it for contouring. I got a sample of this at a Sephora a while ago and I just fell head over heels in love with it, but it's $50. So I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that, buying a $50 product just for contouring, but in the States it was only like 38 which is still very expensive, but somehow 38 sounds so much better than 50 like, I know it's only $12, and you know it's only $12, but doesn't it sound so much better? So, I bought that, and I'm actually going to film an updated highlight and contouring video, because my whole highlight contouring game has kind of gone more in the direction of cream versus powders. So, going to film that sometime soon. I don't know if you've ever heard of VoxBox, but it's essentially a subscription that beauty bloggers can sign up to. I think it's beauty bloggers as well as vloggers. You fill out a bunch of questions, right? And then they see if you meet certain criteria and get certain things. Obviously I met the beauty criteria because like I like makeup and stuff. And they just recently sent me this Lancome Grandiose Mascara and it is so fly. I'm gonna do monthly favorites again and this will definitely be in it because it, first of all, can you see that wand? It's like wonky and curly but where it twists is perfect for putting mascara on your other eye without getting it on your nose. I know I can't be the only one who still does that frequently. And the packaging is great. I'm not going to get too into it, but that's something that I, that I got. So that's it for the beauty section, and now we're going to move on to the real meat of this haul. First, I bought this change pouch from Urban Outfitters. It's from a brand called Bagu. I'd never heard of this brand before, but since purchasing this pouch in San Francisco, I saw this brand in like four or five different stores in San Francisco so I guess it's blown up. It's just like a really nice carry-all pouch and I use it for the rest of my trip and I can just throw in my change, my money, my cards, my keys, my everything and I don't have to really carry a wallet so that's nice. Uh, obviously it's still very full of American change so that's fun. Also I don't know if this will interest any of you but I also bought a new lens for my camera, the camera that I'm currently filming on it's a 75-300 and it's just got like flawless zoom, like such good zoom. So if you're into camera things, that's something that I bought. I also got this bag. This is like a vintage Dooney and Burke bag and it's just like the perfect size bag for me. Still small, but big enough that I can actually throw in a fair amount of stuff. And it's just beautiful. It is all I could have ever wanted in a purse. And I bought this at a store called 
Afterlife which just sells a bunch of like a good mix of like really cool vintage stuff and new stuff it's it's like the coolest store it's on Valen Valencia Street so if you're in the Bay Area definitely visit Afterlife because I freaking love this purse while I was there I also bought these shoes these are cheap Mondays I guess I only need to really hold up one uh, these are cheap Mondays and I bought these also in Afterlife and they're just the best like boot they're so high well not so high but high enough but the heel is so thick that it really doesn't hurt and I think they're gonna be perfect for fall so I'm really excited about that I also bought this skirt I bought this skirt just before I left for San Francisco and it's from the Bay it's from the Bay and it's just like a cute little skirt I know that trend is dying a little but I just can't seem to let it go and I'm not sure if you can tell from here but it's actually kind of textured like it's it's got like a, a texture because that's what the word textured means so but now back to things I actually got while I was in San Francisco I bought this sweater from H&M and it's kind of like a loose spongy knit I don't know how to describe it other than spongy it's like stretchy kind of but still like a fabric but spongy looking hard to describe but this is that and I this saved me in San Francisco because I wore it all the time that place gets windy sometimes and it's hot for five seconds and then cold for another five seconds and then hot again I just need San Francisco weather to make up its goddamn mind I also went to Mere Woods while I was there and had to get a commemorative hoodie so got a little sweatshirt action says Mere Woods comfy as shit popped into Zara they were having a bunch of sales bought this on sale for I want to say $9.99 around the $9 mark and it's just like a knit tank somehow that description doesn't sound right but it's kind of what it is it's like a knit tank kind of business it's really really great paired with another item that I recently bought and by recently I obviously mean in San Francisco uh, I bought this and there are these green pants from Aritzia and they have this black <clears throat> kind of ribbon tie and the bottom kind of has a sewn in cuff they are the comfiest pants like they are so comfy but I was also kind of on the hunt for things that I could wear at the office because I recently got a new job that requires me looking like a real human on a regular basis and you know going from working at Starbucks which is what I did for like almost three years to being a real human is hard because I'm used to wearing dirty polos that smell like coffee so I've been transitioning into real human mode and I just need a lot of nice investment pieces that I know I'll be able to keep wearing around the office so that's what those were bought these pants from American Apparel I don't think I'm doing them any justice in this frame but they're essentially like long kind of semi wide legged blue speckled high-waisted pants like they hit about I don't know just above belt belly button and they're so comfortable and also really perfect for the workplace so I got me that next I went to Uniqlo and I bought me some black pants Uniqlo is dope what have I been missing out on this whole time that place is so cool I bought myself these pants they were like $29.99 and they're such a good quality like thick but stretchy black pants so got those I also bought a jacket from Uniqlo like a kind of windbreaker jacket it's this navy blue color and it's really cute because it cinches in at the waist like there's like an adjustable tie there and it's just it's, it's a nice jacket I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you right now how nice this jacket is. I could just find an armhole. Just looking for an armhole. Found armhole. There we go. Like I don't know if you can see but it cinches right there so when you close it, like when it's zipped up, it kind of gives a more flattering feminine look than just like something that would go straight down. And you know I just wanted a new nice windbreaker so I bought it because you know when you're on vacation you're kind of in this la la land where you think that you've got money like JLo and then you get back to reality and realize you probably shouldn't have spent all that money but I don't have any place in my heart for regrets so bought that jacket I also bought this necklace which I don't know if you can see from here but it's 
a really delicate little necklace. Like, you know when you find pieces and they're just so simple and understated that you know you'll be able to wear them for like the rest of eternity? That's what this necklace is for me. Also in Uniqlo, I bought this great cardigan. It's kind of got this like shawl feel on the outside. See, like, it doesn't close, it just kind of folds like that. And it's just really soft, really comfortable, and also the office is cold all the time. Like, chronically cold office. So I figured that would be good to just throw in my bag and always have to throw on. Also, from Urban Outfitters, this is my piece de résistance. This is the favorite thing, my favorite thing that I purchased while I was in San Francisco. I bought this dress from Urban Outfitters and I die. Oh, it's so pretty. It's floor length and it's kind of the sheer material but it has these little dots on it. And near the bottom, the panels kind of get wider. So it kind of just like flounces out at the bottom, if that makes sense. And it's completely sheer. So like obviously it would wear a slip underneath. But I also like wearing it with like a slip underneath and putting a t-shirt on over top and tying a knot in it. And then it just looks like a really beautiful flowy skirt. And I also bought this like cheap little bodycon skirt from H&M to wear under it while I was in San Francisco. And like unlike other skirts of its nature, this one actually doesn't ride up on my butt because I've got a butt and I've got thighs and like sometimes things like to ride up my body and then show my butt to the world and that's not what I'm looking for. So this doesn't do that so that's nice. I also bought this really beautiful dress from Nordstrom Rack and it's Elizabeth and James so I die and it's just beautiful thick like kind of skatery at the bottom a higher neckline and then in the back it kind of goes in and I think it's just such a classy piece of clothing and my la wardrobe lacks I think classier pieces like classier timeless pieces and I figured this is that and you know like I'll probably end up wearing it to the office too because why not be fabulous in the workplace you know so that's that those are the things that I purchased while I was in San Francisco thanks so much for watching I know you people love the hauls just as much as I do so I'll catch you guys in the next video and you know what just have a good day. Bye guys.